Hello and welcome back to tutorial series of Python design patterns. In last video, we understood about factory patterns with examples, which is creational design pattern. And now in this video, I am going to talk about one structural design pattern, and the name of that pattern is proxy design pattern. So, what is proxy design pattern? So basically, it's a structural design pattern and it provides interface for different kind of objects like networking objects files with heavy uh, memory size images and so many other things right whichever has object control now so most of you might know about proxy server what it does it takes the web request from the uh, client side and it checks and evaluates the request and according to the evaluation uh, it will pass through to the real server which needs to show that and a real server will execute the process or execute the request and give the response back to proxy server and proxy server will return to the client right another example uh, which can be uh, for a proxy design pattern uh, let's suppose uh, in the real life uh, personal assistant to ceo which is similar kind of uh, patterns uh, where you can see right so basically what it happens like employee one employee goes to a personal assistant uh, for uh, with one proposal and needs approval from the ceo so what personal assistant does so personal assistant evaluates that uh, proposal and if it looks worthful uh, worthy to ceo to look at that then only uh, personal assistant will go to the ceo with the same proposal and come back with the result and give to uh, uh, employee but if it is not worthy for a ceo then it will return back to the uh, uh, client or any employee with no result right uh, or with the proper message so that's what happens uh, in the proxy pattern so i have created one example here i have implemented it and i'm going to show you that how we can use that kind of uh, this kind of design pattern in our uh, real programs so here I have created one abstract CMD or you can say abstract command class which is a abstract class and it has one abstract method that is execute which has to be implemented by the subclasses so real command is a subclass of abstract command and proxy command as well so both has implemented execute method and both is uh, taking command as an argument right so so what happens here we have a uh, additional code in the proxy command uh, addition to real command which is actually taking the uh, or you can say evaluates the process while you are instantiating this proxy command you have to pass your user role and at the same time at the initiation time what we are doing here in this class we are checking that if the user role is admin then we are setting this is authorized flag as true and the same flag will be used while executing the command and also we have initialized this executor self load executor of real command so same way like person assistant has the instance of uh, ceo so whenever whenever person assistant want to execute or ask something to ceo then it, uh, then he or she has the control right so here it is and in some cases ceo has already provided the, that uh, this kind of uh, uh, request are coming from the employees please don't come to me just go back and say this is not uh, happening something like that so same way we have some restricted commands like rm and mv so what pro real command is saying that if the user is admin then come to me for all all type of commands but if the user is other than admin then at least don't uh, come all the commands uh, with this uh, restricted commands like rm and mv if the commands are starting with rm or mv then don't pass those commands to me that's what real command says and proxy commands does the same thing while executing this method so what it's what is it doing that checking that if the user is authorized if it is authorized true that means the role of user is admin so he has access of all the commands so directly we are calling this execute command of the real command class right but 
if the user is not authorized i mean if it is not if a user is not admin then in that case we have to check that command whatever command is passed that is not st starting by rm or mv so we have used any and what we are doing here we are just uh, running one for loop through this commands and we are checking this our command given command that command dot strip dot starts with any of this command any of this command is there then this any function will return true right so that means whatever we have given command which is restricted if that command is restricted then it will raise an exception like this so command whatever command we have given that rm or something uh, is command is not allowed for non admin users otherwise if the commands is, commands are not starting from uh, by rm or mv then we are going to the real command executor right so this is what 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 it is doing that it is controlling the access of the commands right so now i have just written this uh, boilerplate uh, to run this module as a script and what we are doing here we are just creating two instances one is admin executor and one is other executor so if the admin executor we are passing this admin and uh, for other executor we are passing proxy command uh, other right so it will match with this and then it will be true so now we are trying uh, four commands for uh, execution like using admin executor we are calling two commands ls hyphen la and rm hyphen rf rm minus rf slash and i am just printing new line because we can at least separate uh, two lines of uh, code and print statement actually so we will be able to understand what happens here so other executor executes the same two commands ls hyphen la and rm minus rf okay so here i have just used try catch block try accept block because uh, this other executor which doesn't have permission to uh, execute this rm command and in that case this exception will be raised and that exception we have here catched and we are just printing that okay so let's run this command uh, program and we will be able to understand so look at this first we called uh, executor to execute these two commands ls hyphen la command executed and both this, both of them are executed but in the case of other executor this ls which was allowed so it was executed but rm minus rf command is not allowed for non admin users right so this way you can use proxy design pattern uh, to uh, to uh, uh, to control the object execution or object access right so this is it uh, from this video uh, i hope you understand this design pattern well and be able to use in your programming so i think thanks for watching and we'll see you soon in next video with another design pattern and if you have any question or comment uh, please uh, let me know in the comment section uh, I hope I will be able to answer it uh, as soon as possible. Thanks again. Thanks for watching.